Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, April 5th, 2024. I pray that the Lord will continue to be with us as we go throughout the day. And may his peace be on you. And may he continue to guide you as you seek to walk in his way. Our reading today continues in Job chapter 2 reading from verse 7 to 10 and it says so when satan fought from the presence of the lord and smote job with sore boils from the sole of his foot unto his crown and he took him a pot share to scrape himself with her, and he sat down among the ashes then said his wife unto him dost thou still retain thy integrity curse God and die. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God, and shall we not receive evil? In all this did not Job sin with his lips. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word and as we continue to look at the story of Job, we focus yesterday on the fact that Satan don't give up easily. In spite of all that he put Job through in chapter 1, here he come back in chapter 2 because he failed and Job was steadfast. Now as we look at this part of the story, after Satan left the presence of God, he afflicted Job with sickness. So according to the reading as we heard, he was afflicted with boils and sores from the crown of his head and to his very feet. So he was struck with sickness. Remember I told you before that Satan don't give up. And he will do and try whatever means he has to in order to discourage you and to make you give up on your relationship with God and your faith. And his wife, who was supposed to stand by him, actually turned against him. So she was of no comfort to him because instead of giving him comfort and encouraging him, she told him that he should curse God and die. And it is something for us to, to pay attention to. Sometimes we'll have people around us that will not give you the support that you need spiritually. They will think that serving God is a mistake because you need a job, you're not working, and if you give up on your relationship with God then you can get a job and you can work on Saturday or whenever or you can give up on your relationship with God and then you can do just about anything that you please so there will be no more boundaries as it were but Job was a man of integrity and he decided that in spite of what he is going through he will never give up and that is something that we have to come to a decision about. It doesn't matter what I have to endure, I will never give up. Amen? And Job had to rebuke his wife. He told her that she was foolish for saying something like that. This life isn't perfect. So not every day is going to be apples and candies. Some days you're going to eat sour grapes too. Some day the experience is going to be bitter. That's what this life gives. You have good days and you have bad days. You have worse days. Sometimes you have better days. But the thing that we must always hold on to is our relationship with God. So don't let anybody discourage you from serving God. Don't let anybody put any thought in your head make you feel like you made some kind of mistake by giving your life to God or by holding on because you are enduring a few 
troubles or a few trials. If they can't pray for you, if they can't encourage you, if the people that you have in your inner circle can't support your decision to serve the Lord, then maybe you need some new friends. And even if they won't support you, at least respect your decision to serve the Lord. So Job's wife, she was of no help to him. And that is why God is your only friend. Because when, when the going gets tough, many of the folks who we think would be there for us, they will be nowhere to be found. And so it is important for us to build that relationship with God now so that we are not left without a friend when trials come. There's a saying that goes, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Seek a friend before you need a friend. Okay? And the best friend to have is Jesus. So may God continue to bless you and keep you as you seek to walk in his way. Amen.